10th anniversary. And as of today, we've uh, purchased 602 memberships for kids across the region. So that deserves a little clap. So there it is. Andy, if you could throw that over there, it'd be great. And let's get started. So the kids are going to have some questions. Our plan today, everybody, I've announced it once, but our plan today will be, um, we're gonna ask questions in here for about 35, 40 minutes or so, and then Brooke's gonna head out to the 10th tee and we'll fill up the bleachers and she'll rip a couple out there and embarrass everybody. Okay, that's our general plan. And then uh, for the participants in the event, we should be teeing off around 10 o'clock, okay? Where? 602. Wow. Just a good one. It's the best one. Yeah, that's so sad. I think, say something. Oh, no, we don't have anything there. Brooke needs a little more volume, but we'll have her hitting golf balls if we can't get that to work, Chris. We're all good. Brittany and I are going to stay here and freeze off to the side. That's our, that's our job. Brooke, try it again. Can we uh, hear you? No, we still can't. That's okay, we'll speak for Brooke. Right? We'll make her say anything we want, Brittany. That'll be fantastic. So I asked the girls uh, kind of a funny little question uh, as Brooke gets ready. Just hit a few wedges, Brooke, and take your time. Everybody wants to watch you hit it, of course. Um, laundry. That's got to be one of the biggest headaches for you guys. Typical. Uh, you've been watching this a lot, what Brooke is doing here. A little bit of core uh, flexibility work to loosen up. And Brooke says she hasn't hit a ball in a, a couple of days, guys. And they, did you come home on a red eye? Yes, we took a 12:20 uh, a.m. flight from Mexico City into Toronto, so it was actually only a four and a half hour flight, uh, which was surprising because I thought it'd be longer. But it was really hard to sleep, so I think we only got three hours of sleep. And uh, Brooke lost in the round of 16. She told me inside it was your fault when <laughs> no one else was in the room. No, so I uh, lost out in the round of 16. And when things like that happen, I guess that's the only match play of the year, but. Do you then um, change your flight or do you stay in the city for, like if you miss a cut, which rarely, rarely happens with you guys, but do you stay in the city for an extra couple of days? You just rearrange your flights? How does that work? Um, we try to rearrange our flights, but with last week being match play and you never know when you're going to get beat out, we actually didn't book our return flight until the day we, we lost. So it's a little bit risky because you don't want to necessarily get stuck in Mexico, but um, we ended up being able to find the direct from Mexico City to Toronto, which wasn't too bad, but one of the main search apps that I used to find flights, um, when I looked on Saturday after we lost, it said the only way to go home was through London, England. So we were gonna go Mexico City, <laughs> London, England, and back to Ottawa, which is just crazy. Um, but luckily I searched on another site and I found a much better option. Okay, what's Brooke, what are you hitting right now, Brooke? Uh, that was a pitching wedge. So Little pitching wedge, and how far, Brittany, does Brooke hit a pitching wedge? <laughs> Usually I'm just in charge of getting the number and talking through the factors like wind and if it's cold and you know how Brooke is feeling that day. Um, so she's usually in charge because she can hit her pitching wedge hard or she can hit a little soft pitching wedge or she can hit a three quarter shot. So usually, you know, I don't tell her what club to hit. She, she calls what club, but I think she hits her pitching wedge around 120. Last week in Mexico though, because the altitude is so high, um, she hit her pitching wedge like 135. Well, that's cool. So, so, um, how long does it take you on a Tuesday or a, I guess a Wednesday if you get there a little later to figure out all those yardages? Because you're well in Mexico, about 300 yards. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Um, yeah, it was going forever down there. Um, here, probably 260, 270. That's still long. And, and where does that stack? Great shot. We'll get you another tea, bro. 
How does that stack up on the LPJ Tour? I, I, th I think I saw the statues around 15th in driving distance. Is that about right? And uh, what is average out there, would you say? Is it a huge advantage for Brooke, or do a lot of the girls bomb the ball? I would say a lot of the top players hit it out there pretty far. Um, I would say maybe the average is 245, 250-ish. So Brooke's up in the 265, 270 range. Um, so it's definitely an advantage. Um, you know, instead of hitting an eight iron coming in, she's hitting a nine, and I think that's um, that's a pretty big advantage. Hey Brooke, you ever hit a bad one? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. So what's your what's your ball flight, Brooke? Is it uh, those seem to be drawing just a little butter draw falling to the ground right at the end? That's her ball, everybody, in the middle of the middle of the fairway right there, <laughs> about two sixty out. It looks like to me. So what is typical, Brooke? Um, do you like to hit a little draw? Would you rather hit a little cut for control? What's your normal shot? Uh, with driver, just to get a little bit more distance, uh, I like to hit a draw. Um, and then, you know, with shorter irons, I, I sometimes still hit a draw, but I like to hit a bit of a cut just for yeah. some more spin and yeah. feel. And then what's the longest iron in your bag? Uh, five iron. And five iron. Four hybrid. Awesome. All right, let's watch a few more bombs here, and then we'll let Brooke warm up. Any questions from the crowd? Anyone have a question they're curious about that we can answer? A lot of cameras, huh? Smartphones have changed the world. Look at everybody. Yes, Maddie. Here, I'll come over to you. Hang on, you can ask your question. This is young Maddie. Okay, guys, over here at the uh, Kids to the Chorus charity event. Got a nice feature on... Uh, got a nice feature on a uh, whole number... Uh, Eight here, par three, doing closest to the pin with people. Got my own little station going. Pretty sweet. Here's the hole I'm on. 158, I believe. People beat me, and they get a chance in a raffle, so I'm expecting a few in there, right in the right bush, but we'll see how it goes.